here is my gaming setup. This is where I game, make my videos, and sleep. I will be getting into detail on everything like how I record, edit, and game, but first I will be starting off with my new gaming computer that I recently got. Huge thanks to Zydax for sponsoring me and building me this custom gaming PC. The founder of the company emailed me and was like, yo, I like your PUBG ninja skills, let's hook you up with a PC. So here I am with my new $3,600 gaming PC that plays games like PUBG on ultra settings while recording with the best possible settings that I can. This computer lets me make higher quality videos and it makes my old computer look really, really bad. I always had issues with it. I lagged, skipped a lot, and I crashed, and I could never play games with ultra settings while recording. It was just impossible. And as a content creator, my goal is to always create high quality videos, and I can finally do that with this computer. For the computer specs, we have an Asus Z370 ATX motherboard, Intel i7-8700K CPU, Zydax Liquid CPU cooler, G-Skill Trident Z 32GB of RAM, Asus GeForce GTX 1080 Ti GPU, Corsair 850X power supply, custom white cable sleeving, 7 Corsair LL RGB LED fans, RGB LED case lighting, Zydax 500GB solid state drive which I'm running my computer on, and a extra 2TB hard drive that I'm specifically using to store all of my recordings and clips, all inside of a huge case that looks like a fish tank. They also laser engraved Ninja on the glass in Japanese for me. Oh, and the little ghillie suit Funko Pop, I put that there because it represents what I do. Shout out to Zydax for helping me make better videos. Not only are they helping me, but they do want to help you guys out that are interested. If you go to the Zydax website, you can actually use my discount code NINJA. Or if you mention me in the website chat when you're building a computer, they can give you a custom $50 discount on any computer under $1,300. I will be linking my computer build below if you guys want to check it out. And everything else that I do show in this gaming setup, almost everything in this setup can be purchased on Amazon. So if you are interested in anything, I will have the links in the description below. For the gaming PC, I'm running three 23.8 inch 1080p Acer monitors. These allow me to be productive and multitask while I game. For example, whenever I'm playing PUBG, I usually have Discord open on one monitor so I can chat with everyone, Spotify opened up so I can listen to music while I game, I can go on the internet while I'm gaming, and I can also check my clips while I'm gaming. These monitors are very thin, they have a great quality and almost no bezel. I also put RGB LED strip behind each monitor to kind of create a nice glow off the wall. It also helps with your eyes so you're not constantly staring at a bright screen in the dark while gaming. For my keyboard and mouse, I have the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard and Corsair Glaive RGB mouse. The mouse comes with interchangeable grips, a button to adjust your sensitivity, and two programmable buttons on the side. Now because I have a Corsair RGB keyboard, Corsair RGB mouse, and seven Corsair RGB fans, I can do cool things with the Corsair utility engine, like program all the lights together. In order to get high sound quality, I went with the Audio-Technica M50X Studio headphones, which I hooked up into a small USB DAC amplifier that goes straight into the computer. The mic I used to record my voice is also an Audio-Technica, it's a 2020 USB Plus, which I attached to a Rode Swivel mic arm with a pop filter and shock mount to help with recording quality. I mounted the arm in a way so I can actually use the mic for both my gaming PC and iMac and it's never in the way. I also recently started to use the Elgato Stream Deck to help with productivity. I programmed many useful shortcuts from GeForce Experience, which is a software that I use on my PC to record my gameplay. I made the little icons in Photoshop and because of the Stream Deck, recording now is made simple and easy. For my PC sound system, I found a $40 system on Amazon, which is amazing for the price. It comes with two speakers and a subwoofer, and I placed the speakers on both ends of the monitors, and I put the subwoofer right under my desk. 
On top of my gaming computer, I have a Lametric smart clock. This little clock is amazing. I have it set up to show me the time, the weather, and it even shows me my YouTube live subscriber count. You can set it up however you want through an app on your phone. I also have a wireless charging stand for my iPhone 8 Plus. All I have to do is just place my phone on the stand. It charges my phone and I can see my phone while I'm gaming. On the wall behind my computer, I have 15 nano leaf light panels. You can connect them any way you want. I just made a clean, simple design that goes behind my computer and monitors. The lights are fully customizable through an app. They can even be scheduled to turn on and off at certain times, and they can go with the music. my monitors I have my YouTube 100k play button and I mounted a katana on the wall under it. The katana is real and has a sharp blade so if anyone breaks into my house they will end up in a ninja montage. Now so far that was only one half of my entire setup. The other half is for console gaming. I have an iMac for editing and I have my own racing setup for drifting. The entire setup is actually two L-shaped corner desks that I combined together to form one big U-shaped desk. Just like everything else, I did find the desks on Amazon and I will link them below in the description. The chair that I use is a GT Omega racing chair. It's comfortable and it helps your back. Underneath my entire setup, I have a RGB LED strip mounted on the wall to create a nice lighting effect on the floor. It has tons of effects to choose from and just like my nano leaf light panels, it can go with the music. For my iMac, I have another Elgato Stream Deck. I use one for my gaming PC and another one for the iMac. Now just like that one, I also made my own custom icons, but instead of programming it with GeForce Experience, this one is actually programmed to work with the Elgato Game Capture for my Xbox. The editing program that I use is Final Cut Pro 10. Every video I create is made with Final Cut Pro. For editing, storing clips, and storing videos, I use two external hard drives that are plugged into the iMac. One is an 8 terabyte and the other is a 5 terabyte. I also run Final Cut Pro off the hard drives because every project, every clip, and video that I make takes up a lot of space. The extra monitor that I have is from an old Dell computer I had a long time ago when I was a kid. I got rid of the computer and I kept the monitor so I can use it as an extra screen for the iMac while I'm editing and whenever I'm gaming I use this extra monitor for game capture to record gameplay. The TV that I use for console gaming is an 8 year old 32 inch 720p TV. Eventually I will get a better TV for console gaming and Netflix but up until this point I had no issues with it. Right next to my TV I have my Turtle Beach 800X wireless headset. This headset is my favorite headset I ever owned for Xbox. For my extra monitor, I got a stand from Amazon so I can store things under it. I have my Xbox Elite controller under there, which I use for both my gaming PC and Xbox. I have a PS4 controller, and I have an extra HD60 capture card and an HDMI splitter. Now the reason why I have two HD60 capture cards and an HDMI splitter is actually so I can make my Xbox footage go into my TV, into my iMac, and into my gaming PC all at the same time. For my racing setup, I have a Logitech G920 steering wheel. The wheel has force feedback so I can feel understeer, curbs, and any imperfection in the road just like you would in real life. To go with the steering wheel, I have the Logitech 4 shifter. It is a six gear transmission with push down and back into reverse. And I also have the Logitech pedals with clutch brake and throttle. Everything is mounted up properly using a wheel stand pro. Oh, and right next to my shifter, I do have a real hydro handbrake, which I actually turned into a handbrake switch for gaming by using a momentary push button and soldering the button with wires that go into the steering wheel circuit board. I actually took the steering wheel completely apart in pieces in my garage and did all the soldering electrical work myself. Now, because of the handbrake, I did have to make my own custom mount by drilling holes and mounting it up with a big bolt washers and nuts so it doesn't move. The shifter, steering wheel, and pedals are all actually bolted up properly in place so nothing moves while I'm driving. Whenever I'm not using my racing setup, I can easily lower it down and push it under the desk out of the way. Under my desk, I have all of my consoles and I have an external hard drive for the Xbox One. 
For my cable management, I used Velcro ties everywhere to group cables together and run them under the desk, out of the way, and out of sight. I'm so glad I found these Velcro ties on Amazon because without these cable ties, my setup would be so ugly with the amount of cables that would be hanging everywhere. I also mounted a USB hub under my desk for my computer. I have an extra power strip mounted up under the desk and I have USB extensions running under the desk. That is basically my entire gaming setup. I know it's pretty crazy. It takes up half my entire room. And for anyone wondering, I didn't just go out and buy all this at once. I started to game with just a TV and an Xbox. And because of my videos in YouTube, I did start to upgrade my setup slowly so I can make better videos and game in a better environment. If you guys have any questions about my setup, I will answer as much comments as I can below. Like I said, I will link everything on Amazon in the description and I will be uploading a new PUBG Ninja montage very soon soon after this video. Thank you for all the support you guys give me. Huge thanks to Zydax. They literally built me a crazy computer so I can make better videos. That's just ridiculous. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.